Okay, what's going on guys? So I got a quick video I gotta make because I need some help. Yes, I make a lot of videos asking for help, but I also make videos giving you help. So here's the thing. I got a 2006 Chevy Malibu Super Sport with a 3.9 liter engine. Okay, this car was not running. So the problem with it was that it didn't start and it turned out to be um, the number one, I believe it was intake valve or exhaust valve. One of the valves, one of the valves lost its seat, its, it's uh, valve seat. And uh, that valve seat broke into pieces inside the the uh, combustion chamber and it just took a shit. So my question to you guys is this, this, this piston right here took a little bit of damage. My question is, is this piston salvageable? Can I work with this piston or am I gonna need to replace the piston? The heads are out to the machine shop right now. I'm gonna be getting them back soon. But before I put anything back, I wanna make sure that this piston's okay to work with. I mean, there's no damage to the walls. There's a little bit of damage to the piston, but I don't think it's gonna affect compression. All right, now that's just my opinion. I'm not an expert. I'm not an engine rebuilder. I'm a mechanic. I work on cars, but when it comes to this, I mean, this car, I'm gonna fix it and I'm gonna get rid of it, so. But if it's not gonna run, I can't sell it. If it's not gonna be running properly, I won't be able to sell it. So right now I'm gonna be doing the heads, but I wanna show you guys the piston, and I wanna know, can I work with it? So let me show you. So this is where we're at right now. These pistons right here are in good condition. Well, they're just a little dirty, but a little cleaning will uh, take care of that. On this side, the other bank, this is where the problem is. All right, now this is a piston that took a little bit of a uh, beating, so let me zoom in on that. Okay, so that's what we're working with right there. I think um, that valve seat was just bouncing in there and the customer kept cranking it and cranking it and cranking it, and it ended up like this. All right, now I can tell you right now that the cylinder walls of the pistons are still okay. So my question is, can I work with this piston? Is compression gonna be okay? Um, the heads are out to the machine shop and before I get them back and put them on, uh, I need to know if I need to change a piston. So I don't wanna just throw the heads on here and have this car run like crap. I need to have this car running properly in order for me to sell it. So if anybody out there knows anybody that knows anybody that knows anybody that knows about engine rebuilding, please leave a comment down in the comment section and um, help me out, man. Help me out. Um, I'll probably be uh, getting the heads back in one or two days and I'll be putting it back together. Yeah, that's all I need right now. I just need to know is it worth it? Can I work it? Let me know guys. Um, let me know what I should do. If you guys ran into something like this before, can I just maybe, uh, can I just grind the top of the uh, piston off? Or can I smooth it out? Or, or what should I do? I need some advice from somebody that works on engines. But um, hopefully you guys uh, get to see the video in time. Uh, next video coming up will be me putting the engine together if nobody gets at me and I'm just gonna give it a shot That's what I'm working with right now